So welcome back to Mouster House Campus folks. Here today, with the aid of my trusty friend Dennis the Drone, I'll be reviewing this 1997 Auto Sleeper Executive. This particular one will be for sale on our website camperner.com. I will also be passing on future camper buying advice and tips after 30 years in the industry. Please feel free to comment down below. I will shortly be passing it over Dennis for his flyover footage first, followed by my in-depth review. Over to Dennis. So thanks for the flyover Dennis, here I'll step in again with my in-depth review. So today this is a 1997 Auto Sleeper Executive 4 berth, but I would say 2 stroke 3 plus 2, that's a complicated way of saying it's certainly 2 berth down below but the bed's that big, it makes into two large singles, or you could certainly fit three cosy adults, no problem. And plus two, what I mean by plus two, is two up above. Certainly small adults, teenagers or children would love it up there. So yeah, this is on the Perjo Boxer chassis. It's got the legendary one-piece fiberglass body shell, which we call the monocog in the trade. Typical auto sleeper quality. As my past subscribers will well know, I'm a great fan of the auto sleeper brand. It's probably my favourite camper of all time. And the owners certainly hold on to these. This particular one, the last, I think, it's only had a couple of owners in since new. And the last owner has had it for nine years. A customer satisfaction with an auto sleeper is off the scale. So I'm just doing a quick walk round. So it's the Perjo Boxer chassis, diesel and fuel in here. This particular one is the 2.5 diesel. You will get the odd one that's 1.9. They are just about capable, but quite slow so you always want the 2.5 or better still on the later ones the 2.8 LPG or gas bottles so it's got room inside there for two gas bottles there's your fridge air vents so just to notice here these are your winter covers so you can remove those two clips there that pulls off in the summer manual retractable step it 
it's this particular one's got the Fiorma awnings or the Fiorma rather bike rack mountings all the bits and bobs and the mountings are inside in the wardrobe it's got the rear steadies either side inside here is your Fetford industry standard cassette toilet I don't need to open up that I did quite an extensive review on my last video which was Nauta Sleeper Clubman which has all the same standard fittings so your Carver Cascade someone's upgraded the water to Truma Ultra Flow Compact so in other words you just put the pipe in here into a water tank and that will there you go the 12 volt supply in the tank and that pulls the water inside there it's quite handy if you're parked static on a site or a caravan park you don't have to then all you have to do is wheel um, a water butt and you can bring that to it here and you can access your water butt from there main hook up We'll just quick pop the bonnet and show you that Peugeot 2.5 diesel engine. A very trusty engine indeed for the diesel boffins out there. Peugeot invented the diesel engine, so there's not much they don't know about the engineering of that era. A well trusted 2.5 turbo diesel power plant. As I say, you will get the odd 1.9s with the Luton overhead body but they are underpowered just be weary of that all right for trundle along but going up hills etc you will be struggling over 40 45 mile an hour not with this 2.5 turbo diesel it'll cruise all day long at 60 65 mile an hour this is just incredible condition when you consider it's 22 years young Classic auto sleeper trim. Passenger swivel captain seat. It's been upgraded from the cassette player to the CD player. This particular one has done 75,000 miles. Full service history. Look at the condition, beautiful. This is test amount to uh, auto sleepers build quality as well as the last owner looking after it. Most generally auto sleeper customers do tend to look after the vehicles. So there's the auto sleeper job number. That should be present and correct on any auto sleeper. So you're quoting that chassis number and job number. You can ring up auto sleeper. They're at the same factory where they've been for 50 years in Gloucester. And they will uh, know when it was what month it was designed built the build number and we'll be able to of course give you any parts off the shelf so we'll just pop out now and go in the rear leisure door it's got the industry standard Fiorma F45 plus awning and upstairs the body's that strong that you can put any roof boxes up there strap any fishing tackle etc and there's your TV aerial stepping inside and there she is a classic 2 plus 2 configuration she's beautiful so there you go two small adults the children love going up there there's the fold up genuine auto sleeper steps behind there they clip onto there most grandchildren and children will be excited to be climbing those stairs to sleep up there I can assure you my grandchildren love it. So there's your infill cushions. 
So this particular one, as I say, it's two stroke three plus two berth. So that's a long winded way of saying these are two large single beds. Those cushions, the forward seats fold forward. That one passenger side will swivel around and make a really long single bed. And that cushion there will forward and there's infill cushions upstairs and they will infill into there. The driver's seat will go slide forward, that will flop forward with an infill cushion in there and of course an opposing single bed. But of course these two beds can slide together, the rear cushions flop back into place and that will create one of the industry's biggest queen size bed you can come across. We've got a mains electricity supply there as well as here we've got 12 volt supply here a TV aerial there's the override for your reading lights so we'll just show you that demonstrate that so you can put the reading lights on there's four of those but you have got the facility of overriding the reading lights on the master switch So we've got the matching, genuine, original, 22-year-old scatter cushions. Look at the condition of those matching the curtains. So we'll switch all those lights off and demonstrate the fluorescent lights. Plenty all round. You'll not be short of lighting. That's up above the cab bed, lights everywhere, that one is your 240, so this one will only work when it's plugged into mains, I'll show you the bathroom and wet room light, but while we're here we'll just show you around. So it's got the over mat over the shower floor. You've got the Fetford cassette toilet that's been sanitised. This gauge here is green so it's indicating the cassette is empty. As it slowly fills up the bar comes to red. You've got the flush there, you can hear the flush. Toilet roll holder. I've forgotten to uh, put water in this because it's been winterized, so I've got no water I'm afraid but I can show you all the water is working so you've got hot and cold water, you've got the shower and we'll just fold that base up like so Again, beautiful auto sleeper craftsmanship of the vintage. I'll just clip that into there. So I know we're we'll going on about it, but you always want to see a nice blue flame. So we can just ignite it there. I don't need to go through all. But you can see the idea. Nice blue flame. Anything other than a nice blue flame. Switch the gas off. Give it a blow round here. Remove that. Check it again. Make sure you've got a blue flame. Anything other. Take it off and take it in for servicing. Same with the cooker. That's just burning off a little bit of the dust and that will go to predominantly blue any time now. There we go. That's fine. Kitchen sink and drainer. Can you imagine? 
22 years ago to say to your neighbour, not only has your camper van got a kitchen sink in, it's even got its own drainer board. This particular one is on sale at campernerd.com, so I've changed all the brass buttons and bezels. It's got a cover as well. Oh, the last owner's left the all important wine screw and cutlery. The all important wine cabinet. So you've got the accessories. So again, that's your 12 volt, what I was demonstrating before, the 12 volt socket. So that can plug in there and that gives you the old fashioned cigarette 12 volt supply. Master control unit. Simple and functional, horse sleeper at the best. On, off, and just an override switch for the water pump. You might have just heard it there. Priming the water. There's the status 12 volt booster amplifier for the TV aerial. Typical auto sleeper quality. Anyone who's watched my previous videos will know we go on about the quality and the craftsmanship. So just a, a thing to note there folks. So upstairs this is set up now as two berth or four berth as it were. This is easily removable as you can see there I'm just popping it up. You can actually pop it up and clip it onto these out of the way or you can completely remove that if only two are are traveling and then you've got more headroom here. If the children are sleeping here we've got a safety net here and that'll save anyone falling out and any nasty surprises in the middle of the night. So yes all in all typical nice example of the year. Fly nets so these are fly nets uh, the fly nets are behind those who have uh, visited the Scottish Highlands and the locks will know about those in the summer to keep the midges out. But these are blackout screens, so beautiful. The, effectively, then the curtains are just there for cosmetics because you go to sleep at night and you've got the blackout blinds. That will black them out, but it's got the silver foil on the outside, so it's keeping it nice and warm in the winter, but cool in the summer. Again, another place. Usually, if you're putting the TV on there. Of course, we are in 2019, so TVs and camper vans are a dying uh, trend. It's all laptops and iPad this and iPad that and download that. But if you've got a TV and a 12 volt, you're old fashioned and old school like me, you've got the facility there. So that's for your central heating. So the gas carver 3600 unit will work on gas but of course if you want the central heating you can use the power blower here and that will blow out there, here as well as in the wet room. The hot water heats on gas for when you're wild camping just simple on and off and these will light up as follows when that's powered on on the power supply or if you hooked up on mains you've got the water heater on the mains so here's the wardrobe there's your mains fuse box all the ancillaries all the bits and bobs for the two bike Fioma bike rack at the rear there's your two legs just show that wardrobe rail extra shelf above the top so just recapping this is a one piece fiberglass body shell, which I like to think it's the same effect as an upside down boat. So it shouldn't, should not really effectively suffer from damp or leaks. The only couple of weak little points or ingress that could ever happen would be the chimney stack. So above here, you've got a small chimney, so climb up on there and inspect, make sure there's no damp or problems here. That's one problem that could arise on one of these and the other one would be windows so just check around the windows generally no problems I've never had an auto sleeper chimney stack or window leak unless it's been in an accident 
So ask yourself questions if it's leaking, it could have been possibly been an accident or been damaged or had an ill-fitted window. So they're the only things I could suggest and my tips of many years experience on buying a second hand auto sleeper. That's the awning handle. Of course the other tips that I like to uh, insist on on my previous videos, I'll just recap about the uh, common scams. There's lots of online vehicles, particularly in the camper and leisure industry, being advertised for a very keen, well, too good to be true price. Which basically means that the vehicle does not exist and you're just paying a deposit for a non-existent vehicle. So just be safe, ask yourself questions. If they won't answer the phone, there's only an email for contact. Pull the bluff, can you come and view it? If there's an excuse why you can't come and bluff, view it 99.9% .9 of the times I'd walk away immediately and go buy from a reputable dealer or somebody you know so this particular one's got one laptop laptop lap belt fitted that was fitted by auto sleeper at the factory uh, so let's mention seat belts a lot of people ask this question about seat belts and traveling uh, what's the law the law's quite straightforward if there is a seat belt fitted in the rear and you're sat in the rear you have got to wear the seat belt if there is no seat belt in the rear there is no lawful um, requirement for you to wear a seat belt same as trains or older coaches because they can't retrofit them on all vehicles so that's just a thing to note the law is quite straightforward if there's rear seat belts you have to wear them if there's no rear seat belts you can legally travel to the best of my knowledge, up to the moment in time when I've uploaded this video to YouTube, that you can legally drive and sit in the back with no seat belt. So we've got two tables, typical solid wood, large table there that slides in, and a smaller table, it's a bit tricky to just about angle the camera there, so that's a smaller one. So then you've got the facility with the two places there with the two legs that were in the wardrobe so you can have the one large table here or there small vice versa you get the idea or it's actually a perfect fit for the small and large table both at the same time or of course you can go to any good accessory shop and get the outside fittings that enable you to use the outs to use the leg and one of the tables for outside so you could have one table outside and one inside it's all very cleverly thought about. So yes, I'm sure you're fed up of listening to my voice now. I'll wrap this video up. A little quick walk round. I'll have a little drive. Do a couple of three point turns. And Dennis will help me film in that part of the video. And I'll catch you at the end. Feel free to visit me at camperner.com or all my details are down below this video. Okay, Dennis, over to you.
today's review of this 1997 Auto Sleeper Executive with the legendary monocoque one-piece fiberglass body shell. Some good work and film footage I'm sure you'll agree off Dennis here. Um, so feel free to subscribe, that will notify you of any future videos and reviews forthcoming and feel free to comment down below. I will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.